Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you saw last week's video, you know that this week I was scheduled to go in for the HSG test. Um, so today I will be sharing with you the results of that procedure. Before I get into the results of that test, I wanted to let you know that I will be sitting down and doing a full in-depth video about the HSG procedure and my experience with it. I'll be talking about step-by-step -step how the procedure went and just kind of like my, my experience with it and my pain level and, and what you can expect during that procedure if you might be going through it too. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel, that way you do not miss when I publish that video. So I'm just gonna get right into the results of my test. The results are that everything seems to be normal. Um, the doctor said that my uterus, uh, the uterine shape is normal and that both of my tubes are open and clear. So we officially do not have any explanation for why we're struggling with infertility. And hearing the words again, unexplained infertility is just, it's a really, really hard pill to swallow. I am grateful that my uterus and my fallopian tubes seem to be healthy and normal, but at the same time, had something abnormal showed up with the test, and if one of my tubes wasn't opened or my uterus was not shaped as it should, that would have at least been an answer and a reason as to why we're struggling with infertility. And having the doctor tell me that everything looks clear and good and great just left me feeling very frustrated and really confused i just i cannot help but keep asking like why if everything with john is healthy if his swimmers are swimming as they should be <laughs> and they are normally shaped and there's plenty of them as there are and my uterus is apparently normally shaped and my tubes are open. Why aren't we getting pregnant? It's just really frustrating to not have an exact reason why this isn't working because without an exact reason, there isn't like a specific treatment plan for us. It's going to be, I guess, trial and error from here, trying out different treatments and seeing if any of them work. The last two days, I've, I've just been trying to process everything and do some research and just let everything sink in. And it's been an emotional two days for me. I just, after the appointment, I felt completely overwhelmed with emotion, with frustration and confusion and anger. And I have cried so much. <laughs> in the last two days, which I'm going to start crying again. I just wish we had a reason why and we don't. And it's just frustrating. So anyways, next Friday, I have an appointment with the reproductive endocrinologist to talk about the next steps and they're going to let us know what they think is the best course of treatment for us at this time with everything that they've gathered from our testing and I actually um, if you saw my last video I talked about how they did a bunch of blood work and I haven't spoken to my doctor about it um, but it's my understanding from what I could read um, on the report that everything was normal except for my vitamin D level. Uh, my vitamin D level was really low. I'm assuming they're gonna probably want me to be taking an extra supplement of vitamin D. Um, but like I said, I haven't talked to them, so I don't know that answer for sure. Um, but as far as the next steps go, I, I won't know for sure what the recommendation is until my appointment next week. 
based on the research I've done and some people I have talked to that have gone through a similar situation, I'm thinking they're going to recommend that we go through medicated cycles with timed intercourse as just like a basic first step. To be honest, I don't know how I feel about going on a medication like Clomid or um, Menopore or I, I forget what the other one is. I think Femera. Um, I've done some research on those medications and I just... Oh, the thought of Clomid honestly really scares me. So yeah, I just, I have a lot of questions for my doctor next week. And right now with the knowledge base I have about medicated cycles, I'm just, it's not something I am 100% confident in and ready to do if that is what they recommend. Um, so if you have gone through medicated cycles and you've had success or even if it hasn't been successful, please comment down below and just let me know what your experience was. If you have any advice for me as far as, um, you know, questions to ask the doctor, I would really appreciate um, any advice you can give me. So after my follow-up next week with my doctor, I will certainly be sitting down and doing another update for you all. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye. Oh, Leo's here and he wants to be in the video. <laughs> you are the star, Leo. Use your hand film.